All right, here's the top section or the control board section to my coil winder. I use this to wind radio coils for some of my electronics projects with vacuum tubes and whatnot. This is an Arduino controller. It has a real-time clock, which really isn't related to it. It has optocoupler isolated outputs. And I also have an I2C LCD display. Let's look at the motor connections and stuff underneath briefly. This is a motor driver board. This is a 1.8 degree 5 volt high torque stepper motor. This is a separate 5 volt supply, power supply for the stepper motor. The Arduino board itself is powered by its own separate power supply for stability of operation and so forth. Let's put the display back up here where you can see it. Let's power it up and let's focus in on it just a bit. You can reset the whole works at any time by hitting the reset. But you notice I have four buttons here, and here is your LCD display. I'll set it up there so you can see it a little better. The buttons have, basically, they set the number of rote turns that the stepper motor will perform to wind copper wire onto the coil form. When you first reset, and you can reset the whole system at any time by doing this, it initializes. Now you're ready to go. You press the blue button. This white button will increment the count by one every second. The next white button will increment it by ten every second. And when we're ready to go, you press the, you press the red and the motor takes off and run. Let's look at the other end and the motor and how the coil forms were built. I designed this really to work with two forms. This is a standard two inch mailing tube that you will find at, oh I don't know, the UPS store or something. These of course were cut out with a drill press and keyhole saws keyhole bits. In this case I took the plastic pieces that came with the mailing tubes and glued those onto the end pieces that will fit like that. I happen to have a lot of these tubes that were left over for some other project and I also cut these. What you'll do when you design your coil forms such as this one that was wound on it you notice these terminals well there through you drill holes through the tubes and you can buy these little bitty solder terminals oh I think I got a thousand of them for six dollars. And you're going to use what is called, you can use enameled copper wire or you can use Litz wire, which is what this is. Litz wire is a fine multi-conductor wire that helps you to produce sharper tuning and a higher Q when you're using it in radio circuits. And if you need a particular inductance, there's a formula you work out giving them the size of the tube and the physical dimensions. This is a single layer coil. Uh, you'll punch the number of turns you need into the coil winder and it will count down and stop for you when you get the appropriate number of turns. This older coil I wound by hand. It was a nightmare. It's hard when I could have done it far easier with this.
Here is the rod end that's connected to the stepper motor. You simply put this over it. Put a nut on it. Tighten it down where it's snug. As far as a wire guide goes, I kept it simple. You could, I could use something like this I use with my solder. I'll take the solder off. It holds the wire and I guide it on by hand. If you look closely at the display at the bottom, I've set it for five. Let's find a point on this and you can turn it. Align your eyes up with that point there along with that shaft. If it's going around completely like it should at the end of five rotations and it will count down on the display as you do it, it should be back to that point. right back where it's supposed to be. Five turns. There's also a little something on there. Let me slide it over again so you can see it that I forgot to mention. Here on the control board is a speed control. I can control the speed of the coil winder. Now that I got five turns and let's let's do another five turns but I'm going to change this. You can change the speed on the fly. You can just creep it along or you can speed it up and it goes five turns every time with variable speed. The schematic and the program and stuff are on my website. This is a combination of multiple projects that I've already presented uh, and it's a MOSFET driver board it's there's nothing unusual about any of this so I hope this gives you some ideas you can have some fun and one more time for lines right back up because it's a 200 step stepper motor for 360 degrees for every revolution, all I got to do is count 200 steps and voila, I went 360 degrees. I don't have any feedback mechanisms. No uh, hall sensors and magnets or whatever to tell me where it is because the stepper motor is so precise it knows if it counts and the circuit is working it will always do 360 degrees or whatever I program it to do. Have a great day and thanks for listening.